Hey, good morning, my friends. Welcome to this beautiful, gorgeous day here in Southern California. It's a gorgeous Wednesday morning, and I'm so happy you've decided to spend some time with me. Angler Andrew Deal was on the Fury yesterday. He said it was the best fishing trip of his life, and there were other guys who missed. We've got a lot of crazy stuff going on here in Southern California and Northern Baja. And of course, we look forward to our October 23rd celebration at 22nd Street Landing. It's really turning into something special. Brian Wynn, Roger Eckhart, they'll be there to put on a seminar for you. We've got food for you. The El Patron will dock right there. You'll be able to walk on board, check her out, talk to Ricky Carbajal about their move down to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. And we've got so much more. Desiree Rodriguez, she's going to be there. It's going to be a wonderful day with all kinds of raffles and fun stuff for the kids. And we're doing a Halloween contest also, mostly for the kids, but there's an adult section also. So bring the kids, have them in their Halloween costumes. We're going to have some candy for them. It's going to be really a fun, festive, awesome celebration. One million views here on Friedman Adventures. I thank you all for that very, very much. 5,000 subscribers. It's going to be a wonderful day. And of course, past guests who've been so instrumental to our success, as have all of you, will be there also. All right, enough of this. You know what time it is. It's time to get into some really interesting fishing. It's time for the morning briefing. Good morning, my friends. Hey, October 23rd is going to be a really special day. I hope you can make it to 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro. We're going to have food, coffee, so much more. And I already mentioned all those great seminars and everything else that's going to be going on. Also, we're going to be raising money for our, money for our Mexico efforts. We're going to send down thousands of items to several different areas in Baja, California. And with your help, we're going to really change the lives of a lot of people. We need a favor, though, and that is... Are you coming or not? Because they're trying to plan in terms of food and so much more. So if you could just leave me a comment here on our YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm coming for people. Something like that, that would be fantastic. If it's easier for you to text me, go ahead and do that. 657-227-6459. Just let me know how many people are coming so we make sure we have the right amount of food for all of you. We're going to have breakfast snacks. We're thinking about pancakes. It's going to be really fun. And of course, Mike Morrison, the staff of 22nd Street, they're all going to be there. It's going to be a super fun day, a great learning experience, and just a whole heck of a lot of fun and an opportunity for us to thank all of you. Hey, it's Anthony Amalfitano's birthday. Good morning and happy birthday, Anthony. Of course, Anthony asks the trivia questions on our show. He does a lot more than that, however. I mean, the guy is instrumental to our success, and I want to just take this moment and send him a sincere happy birthday. Anybody else out there having a happy birthday today? I'll send you the very, very same. All right, let's get into it. We'll go down south of the border to Ensenada. Arnie Mann down there has been just doing so great on the Dorado. There's a lot of yellowfin tuna down there. Mixed sizes, 5 to 10 pound stuff. Also some fish right on up to 60 pounds. They've also hooked several marlin down there with the pongaros that are down there. Blackfin, Victor's been sending all kinds of photos about their great success down there. And in fact, Victor said, hey Phil, these yellowfin, they're starting to get a little bit bigger. So Victor just sent some photos and said they caught some yellowfin and they were bigger this time. Trolled feathers are getting chomped on by those YFTs. They love to bite on that. And if you like to throw a chrome lure, man, I'll tell you what, that Daiwa Sakana 20 gram is a killer. Anthony, last night, a Malfitano on our live show was showing all the bite marks that the yellowfin just chewed the paint off of this Daiwa Sakana. So chrome, that's what you want. Chrome and blue, chrome and something. That's what YFT like to bite. Still, great fishing down there on that side of the border. For those of you who like to drive down and experience Baja hospitality and just the intimacy of fishing with a pongaro. Man, I don't know if there's anything better than that. 
and it is continuing on. By the way, on November the 15th, you will be able to purchase a year-long license. Let me define that for you. Before, whenever you bought your license, it expired on December 31st. Now, when you buy your license starting November the 15th, it will last a year from the purchase date, which makes sense and it's about time. So thanks to everyone who made that happen. We deeply appreciate it. November the 15th, you buy a license for a year, it will renew a year from the date of purchase. And that is also big, great news. No question about it. Oh my God, those pods of dolphin are showing the way to some excellent yellowfin tuna fishing. I know the Amigo had a great day yesterday. Don't have his final count. He'll be in tonight on a two-day trip. Michael Morrison, the manager of 22nd Street, is the second captain on board this one. That's pretty darn cool. I like that. And I'm just guessing that they are having another nice morning on those porpoise or those dolphin I should say running those things down sliding on them getting bait in the water and that has been the way to go all right let me just kind of mix the whole offshore scene right now with you from San Diego all the way up kind of it's kind of the same and kind of dissimilar and I'll point that all out to you first tackle wise we need you to have fluorocarbon we like opsin use what you like but opsin www.opsinusa.com put in fa at checkout Greg Brown, the owner, will send you a love note, and he'll also send you a free gift. So do that. Get your floral. We want 25, and we want 40 at least. You can bring heavier. And if you're fishing this nighttime bluefin tuna, they have some awfully big fish right now, and I'm not kidding you. They had one on board the Thunderbird that went 278. In fact, they had two, four bluefin on the Thunderbird, 120, 176, 202, and 278. Those are magnificent, great long-range size fish in our own backyard. That is pretty darn good. So again, 25 and a 40. You run into a kelp that's finicky, you go to your 25, drop your hook size down to a 10 or below. You run into a kelp that's biting full speed, get a stop on the yellowfin, they really want to bite and they're nice grade fish, you're going to your 40 pound with a 2-0 hook, a 3-0 hook, something like that. So remember, keep that in mind, you're going to be good. I've already mentioned that chrome jig, how important that can be. And if you're fishing at night, you want knife jigs and flat falls, Daiwa SKs, those are great jigs. Anywhere from 200 to 500 grams, depending on wind and current is what you're going to fish. But you're fishing 100 pounds with at least a 200 pound leader in those cases. So keep that all in mind. I think you're tackled up, you're ready to rock and roll. There's been a lot of misses here lately. So it's a tale of two cities right now. One is that I had the best trip of my life, like Andrew Deal said. And the other is I had a great time. It was a lot of fun, but we missed. We didn't catch anything. So that's the scenario right now. But there is still some really excellent fishing going on, as you will hear. But I want you to know there's been misses. It's not a slam dunk. And especially when you start talking local boats up here in the LA Orange County area, we've been seeing a lot more misses here recently. Aztec, 20 guys, two day trip, 200 yellowfin tuna. That's what I'm talking about. That's a magnificent score, wonderful score. So don't get lost in some guys are missing. The Grande came out of Point Loma yesterday and hung a right. That is to say he went to US waters He's glad he did with 17 guys, 125 on the flatheads. Nice hit on the Dorado, and that's why you see more fish per rod. Remember, U.S. limits on Dorado are 10 per rod. Mexican limits on Dorado are 2 per rod. And that's why the Grande hung that right-hand turn and went up into the U.S. area, found a nice kelp, and had a great day. San Diego, 36 guys, 64 on the Dorado, so a really nice day. Now, I teased up front that Andrew Deal said it was the best fishing trip of his life. How good was it? When I talked to him last night at about, I don't know what time it was, 11 o'clock at night, he wasn't even anywhere near processing his fishing. I mean, it was already all filleted up and everything. He was just trying to get it into smaller bags and then he's gonna vacuum seal it all today. He said it was absolutely phenomenal on so many different levels. And one reason why it was was Alex Plambeck was there. Now he's a Daiwa rep and Alex brought out 15 rods and reels, Daiwa combos that you could use on the trip. And Andrew said, man, we were in heaven trying this Daiwa gear out. Sold us all on this stuff. All you gotta do is use it once and you're ready to just go to buy a whole bunch of Daiwa stuff. So Alex, not only providing the gear, but some great expertise, super nice guy. That made the trip really special. So this was part of the CCA 
uh, competition. I know the Pride over there, 22nd Street, they had a nice day, 60 tune and a bunch of other stuff. Alex from the Rusty Hook stopped in and said hi. Chris from CCA stopped into our studio last night and said hi. Said great fishing on the Pride. Had a really fun day catching yellowfin tuna on those porpoise. And I, like I said, I think they're up around almost 70 fish, something like that with Dorado and so much more in a light load, you know, 12 people, 15 people, something like that. So back to the Fury because they are claiming victory in the bragging rights on this. And if I've got that wrong, you blame Andrew Deal on this, but they ended up 11 guys, that's it, 52 yellowfin tuna, 74 Dorado. Andrew said it was flat, fantastic, wide open fishing on some of the stops. He used 30 pound fluoro and he said that was the ticket. A 1-0 size hook was really, really good. If that's not enough, they hooked a couple of marlin to go along with it. It was the best fishing day of his life. And Andrew has fished all over the place, all over the place. He's fished in Cabo, he's fished the Baja Peninsula, he's fished a lot with me. He's a super great guy. And by the way, he has done so much with regard to our Mexico efforts and getting clothing down there. He's uh, let us use his truck on a myriad of occasions. And he's always so gracious about it. When I get the truck back to him, he gives me a call and says, man, I'm so happy I was able to help out. So we really, really love him for that. And so happy he caught a lot of fish because uh, I'm gonna go over there later today and get a whole bunch for myself. No, I'm glad because he had such a positive experience. So Fury with an absolutely great day. I wanted to focus in on that because I talked to Andrew at length about that. Sport King yesterday to Dorado. So he's out of LA Waterfront, just so you know, in case you're listening from somewhere around the world here today, LA Waterfront, Los Angeles area, San Pedro area. And he only had two Dorado. Other days he'll find a kelp and kill him. Then he went to Catalina, had some brisk bonita action, a little bit of calico bass, lost a couple of forkies over there, that's yellowtail. And, uh, you know, had a nice day. It's lovely weather, as you can see. It's absolutely beautiful. I do hear some thunder rumbling in the background again here this morning. So we had some crazy weather last night at 22nd Street, right before we went on live. James Mosher from Newport Landing showed up. He did a great job again last night. He brought a guy, Andrew Killing, along, who does local lobster fishing. It was a lot of fun. Got a little bit celebratory last night because it was Anthony's birthday, but we had a great show and it was a lot of fun. So once again, I am hearing that, but it seems as I look around here, like it's no big deal. It's gonna pass with no problem at all. All right, the tribute. Yeah, and they're out of San Diego, bouncing around near the Coronado Islands, but offshore ended up on a 1.5 day trip, 11 bluefin, but they were 40 to 117 pounds. Legend, limits of Dorado, 31 yellowfin tuna three yellowtail. Constitution on a half, day and a half trip. Limits of Dorado, 63 yellowfin, 12 yellowtail. So as you can hear, my friends, those longer trips, that day and a half stuff is paying off down there out of San Diego. But, you know, I say that, and then you look at the Grande, you look at the San Diego, boats leaving in the morning, returning in the evening, both with really excellent scores. So it's a little mixed right now. It's a little crazy. And so should your tackle be because because it is slow on some boats, their experience for the day, because you find a kelp that doesn't want to bite, you need that 25, because you might find that bite where they're gonna chew the paint off the boat, you want the 40, and if you have heavier, bring it. I'm just telling you the bare minimum, okay? The bare minimum to get it done. Even the Mirage up there out of the Channel Islands had a bluefin tuna yesterday, so this is a long way from over, and don't forget, we still had that big fall, Southern California albacore run, headed this way. I got to win this $100 bet with Scott Buchert. Come on, Albacore, show up. There's enough guys out there trolling around and goofing around if that water were to drop a little bit more. Man, wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be a way to end up this crazy season? To have Albies back in the channel like they were back in the 80s, man, that would be phenomenal. And plus, I'd win my 100 bucks with Scott. Otherwise, I'm going up in flames on another prediction. All right, island-wise, uh, down there, uh, Tolos Santos Island, still a lot of yellowtail off the coast of Ensenada, Baja California, Mexico. For those of you who are not familiar with our geography here, um, Ensenada, you cross the border, let's say you're driving from where I am here, Surfside, near Seal Beach, okay, near Huntington Beach, taking an hour and a half to get to the border and another hour and a half to get to Ensenada. Three hours and you're in Mexico Lindo, actually an hour and a half and you're in Mexico Lindo. And you get down there and there's been some good yellowtail action at the islands there. Also up at the Coronado Islands. A lot of guys are talking about switching back to the Coronado Islands. So 
dig your passports up, and if they do switch, you'll be ready to go because there's been superior yellowtail action at the Coronado Islands. I mean, really, really good. Anywhere from 20 to 100 yellows on the yo-yo iron. So something heavy that you sink deep, you get down to the bottom, take a couple of wines, and man, you are on. Fish it with 60 pound, you'll be in good shape. Or dropper looping with a four or six ounce torpedo sinker, get your bait down deep. Kind of a typical way to fish Baja yellows in the fall. And we're certainly seeing that play out at the Coronado Islands with good fishing. Um, up here at Clemente in the shallow water, still a lot of yellowtail. Uh, I'm sure some guys are gonna give that a look here again. They have been giving it a look. It's, you know, a real dicey situation. You wanna get a bite, so you try fishing the 25 pound, you get a bite, but you get rocked and kelp because you're in that short water. You go to the heavy, the 40 pound, you get a bite, but sometimes you still get smoked and rocked or kelped. So you do have a much better chance with a heavier string. If you can hook them on that, do it. And you do that by choosing a good hot bait and changing that bait with great regularity. Santa Barbara Island, our good friend Jeff Yeomans, 540 Slingers Club. Jeff will be there October 23rd. You wanna join the 540 Slingers Club? I highly recommend you do. You can talk to them. Santa Barbara, some really nice big yellows there. They went two for nine. I said two for 10 on the other show. I pardoned myself, screwed that up. But two for um, nine on the yellows fishing with Jeremy out of Marina Del Rey sword fishing. Uh, big fish, a lot of fun over there. Channel Islands, good rockfish, occasional halibut and sea bass. And breaking news, my friends, you're the first ones to hear this. Because my friend Tommy Holland, who's a little bit ill right now, so we send him our love and our very, very best. Tommy, let me know last night, Phil, Mark and Squid are moving in to the Channel Islands already. We've been wondering out loud with you all, is Squid gonna actually move into the Channel Islands here at any point in time? And will the sea bass now react? Are there predators on it? That could very well play itself out here in the next week or so, so stay tuned to that. Breaking news, Squid in there, Tommy Holland, our source, great guy, great information. Tommy, keep getting better, all right? Just keep doing that. Speaking of that, Eddie Leland, keep getting better. Eddie in his battle with cancer, he has been so brave and continues to work so hard at it. Man, would I like to get him out there on October 23rd. We'll see if we can't pull that one off. All right, so there's your island situation up there. Good rockfish along the coast. Uh, a few big yellows there out of San Diego at times better than that. Big Bonita, uh, rockfish, calico bass up and down the coastline here. Nothing to write home about up there in uh, Ventura, sport fishing. The island spirit, he's been out on a regular basis catching all kinds of whitefish and sheepshead. Good stuff like that. Cody Rogers, great guy. Go back and look at his podcast. I love Cody. I love fishing the island spirit there out of Ventura, 805 676 3474. He's a great, great person and they run their business out there like Tucker does on the Endeavor, like everybody up there, uh, Pacific Dawn, uh, the California, everybody out there. Attention to the customers and really, really great expertise in fishing. They are awesome up there at Ventura Sword Fishing. And as we mentioned, there's even a couple of bluefin tuna up there in that neck of the woods. All right, folks, October 23rd, seminars, food, um, We've got Desiree Rodriguez, got all kinds of stars in this industry who you get to hang out with. A Halloween contest for kids and adults. So dress up, show up. It's from 8 to 12 noon on Sunday, October the 23rd. We need to know if you're going to show. So if you could drop a comment, please, on our YouTube channel. Hey, Phil, I'll be there. I like my eggs over easy. Something like that, then we're going to be in good shape be able to provide even a more spectacular day for you at beautiful 22nd Street Landing. Hey, it's been a great day. I didn't forget my coffee today, and I love spending time with you. I wish you a wonderful Wednesday hump day. Get over the hump, and you're looking at the weekend and some great fishing. And I want to thank you all for getting us to a million views, for helping us to help others in Mexico, for getting us to 5,000 subscribers so quickly. Thank you and our great sponsors, everybody who made it possible because we couldn't do it without you. Take care. Give us a like, please. Leave a comment, and I hope to see you really, really soon.